everyone, it's Stacy from My Petite Garden. I actually have to repot this philodendron lichens of mine. Um, the soil needs to be refreshed. And I don't know if you guys remember in one of my videos, I propagated some cuttings from this plant. And we are gonna pop them up together now because they're all rooted now. These are the cuttings that I took last time. I think most of them are booted. So we're gonna take a look and pot them up together. Hopefully I can make a fuller pot. You guys can see that this micans here is pretty bare at the top. Um, it is growing some new leaves up here, but for the most part, it's pretty bare. And the soil is draining way too fast. And I don't know if you guys remember when I actually repotted this. This was actually one of the first repots I did in the new house. And at the time, um, I remembered that I had no potting soil on hand. So I ended up using whatever I had, which was just bonsai soil, which is like lava rocks, um, bonsai block, and some pumice, I think. So I don't even think there's any organic material in here, except for maybe orchid bark. So we're definitely going to change that because every time I water this, water just comes straight through to the bottom and starts leaking from here. So I'm going to take this out. It's going to be a huge, huge task because taking this out of the macrame, I do not enjoy that part of it. And I actually was thinking if, if I want to give it a further haircut, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, it's really hot in the greenhouse right now. It is, I think, 30 degrees outside Fahrenheit. But in here, I don't have a thermometer in here, but it feels like it's 70s. So it's very, very pleasant in here. I'm actually going to take off my jacket. We are going to start repotting. I do need to get a pot. Uh, for it. I don't think I'm gonna use the same pot just because it's really dirty. I really need to clean it um, So let me go inside find a pot and then I'll come back out I forgot where where I stopped. I had to run out to get pots because I ran out of um, Kind of like medium six seven inch size pots. I also picked up some bigger eight inch pots too. I went to Michael's because I went to Home Depot first and then I realized that the 8 inch pots at Home Depot are like almost $8 each which to me seemed like a lot. I don't remember them being that much. So I went to Michael's instead and picked these up for I think like $4 each. So yeah. Anyways, so I picked up some more 6 inch and then a couple of these which are really nice because they're taller. Sorry, this is good to, to have around. We're now going to repot this, unpot it, see what the situation is, and then add these cuttings into the top. So my usual like um, rolled up potting tarp is in the house because I haven't been out in the greenhouse in quite some time because of the weather. It's been really cold, really rainy. Um, today is probably the one and only sunny day um, that we're going to have because um, it's going to snow tonight, I think. And it's going to be cloudy again for, for, for a while. So the only thing that I really have are these are these um, IKEA shoe trays that a lot of people use for potting stuff. So we're going to use this today. Oh, before we do that, I did have some potting mix and we're just gonna it's just I I put all the amendments in here it's just a mix mash of everything um, I have tree farm fiber fox farm potting mix perlite orchid bark or fur bark and what else yeah I think, I think that's it so I'm just gonna mix it up not use this. Let's use this. Okay, 
So I think this is pretty good. Let's put that aside. I have to remove this from the... Uh, let me just take out the... Oh my gosh, look how dirty this is. I think this has been in here for two years give or take um, because I know I repotted this after we first moved into the house which was about two years ago I think okay I got it out right here we have to re unpot this Go for it. I see. I see the Osma cult. Did it just never dissolved? Yep, this is complete bonsai soil. Can you guys see? Yeah. <laughs> and the Osma cult is not dissolving. I think it, I don't know if it's because it's not in soil, but yeah. And in two years, I don't expect to see like full on pebbles again. So that's kind of odd. All right. Look at the roots. It's so root bound. Okay. So I'm definitely gonna try my best to loosen this root ball up. So if you notice my micans, it is pretty red. That's because it was in, um, I guess, a bit more light. Although I don't really think I give it that much light. Right now it doesn't really get much light at all. It sits in my husband's office. Uh, like against, not against, next to a window, a west facing window. But it doesn't really get much light because the blinds are, the curtains are usually closed. But it still seems too pretty red. I love the red because I love seeing the autumn color. It almost reminds me of autumn colors. But I know some people prefer their micans more green. I'm gonna use the six inch. I'm gonna use a six inch pot. Because I don't think it needs an eight inch and I don't have anything in between. That's a pretty good height. I am also going to take the cuttings out and add those in. I just need to double check to make sure they all root it. They look pretty good. This one isn't rooted, so I'm gonna toss this one. I just don't want any cuttings that are not rooted because I don't. I have enough, so this one isn't rooted. And I don't want to risk having to take them out if and when they don't root. So it's just more work for me later on if they don't root. Um, and I have enough of them anyway, so I don't really need 
all of them. Okay, this one did not root it. I'm just gonna take this one out. This one is in okay, now I gotta figure out where to put them. I think I'm just gonna stick them on the side because I feel like where else would I put them, right? And there's that here. That's, that's pretty good. All right, last, last jar. Oh, this one's starting to root, so it's okay. I can put it, put it in. Yeah, do you see this? I think it's starting to root, yeah. stick this in here. I'm honestly just, this is pretty sloppy, but I think it'll be fine. Hopefully all the cuttings are somewhat situated correctly, like standing upright. So I would say 90% of the cuttings rooted. This leaf is really, really bad looking. Ugh, I think I'm gonna take it out. Yeah, so just trying to make sure that all the cuttings are situated. Definitely need more soil here. Clean off some dead aerial roots. Quite a few. These are just aquarium stones. And this should do a pretty good job of situating all those cuttings that we just put in here. Let's untangle this and see where we end up. So you see these, these roots here I'm gonna cut because they're all dried up and Still thinking if I should give this guy a, another chop because some of these vines 
just looks really <laughs> look how bare the spine is do you see this like there's no leaves here and then and it has leaves here so i think i'm gonna chop this this looks really unsightly so i'm gonna cut it all the way back and i'm, I'm not gonna propagate it it's, i have enough already okay I'm gonna see if there's another vine that I can um, cut back. Yeah, this one right here. Oh my god, this one looks so sad. Look at this. Completely bare and then there's like two leaves here. So I'm just gonna trace this all the way back. Um, chop it at the base. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more of these. Yeah. Because th I neglected this plant for so long. <laughs> this is just a bare, bare stem. So <laughs> let's cut this back. Okay. And then. That one's okay. This one here, another one, another one that's like this. And we can cut that all the way back. Part of me wants to just cut everything like short like this and then let it just recreate the vines because right now the vines are just so, the leaves are so tiny and some of the leaves are just um, I think what's left is okay. It looks half decent, but I don't know if I'm exactly happy with the way it looks. Um, part of me, this one I'm chopping. <sighs> Look at that. <gasps> it's sad. I'm really tempted to cut this all the way back, you guys. Let's start from scratch. This leaf looks horrible. All right, I think that's good enough. We'll just leave it be like this. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this line starting to look better but I feel like I could chop it back and make it look even better better do you know what I mean this this wine isn't bad at all but I feel like I can make it look better like these wines are so tiny but the leaves are I think starting to get bigger but I don't like how it looks like in the middle All right, you know what? I'm gonna leave it alone for now. We'll see how it goes. If it behaves, then we'll leave it alone. And if it doesn't, we'll chop it. But I think it looks a lot cleaner now. Um, my only concern is, do I want to keep it in the macrame? Or do I wanna put it somewhere else where, um, You know what? I am going to keep it in macrame, but I'm going to hang it somewhere else. I'm going to hang it where I had my... Um, I'll show you guys in a, when I bring it inside. Okay. Which macrame do I want to hang it in? So, I got some saucers. And then I found another macrame that's a little bit shorter than this one. Um, I think it might work a little bit better for where I want to hang it. So let's try this. Oh, it, oh my goodness! It fits perfectly. <gasps> Can you guys see? Okay, okay, it just just plopped right in. Okay, I think this is good actually. Okay, so I'm gonna just fix some of the, some of the strands. 
move them over. Let's see which ones I want to move. I'm going to move these three over. Hope I don't snap anything. <laughs> 